Hey YouTube, it's been a while, something a bit different today. Uh, 3D printer, I've got this 3D printer off Gearbest and it had a special offer which has kept going round and round but it's worth getting I reckon, it's uh, less than 200 quid shipped, I think it was 150 including postage which was free all the way from China, you get the printer spool of uh, filament and to be honest, to be fair for that money it's done really well it comes as a kit so you got to put it together it runs off um, an atmel chip and they give you the board they give you all the frame you have to put together all the motors it took about two days to put together all the orange stuff are mods that I've made to it um, it prints fine out of the box but there's a couple of things I've done to it um, the first thing I did was change the cooling fin uh, to a circular fin all these parts are like hardware store type parts, it's really quite impressive what they've done. Um, this is an example of some of the quality of the print you can get just on sort of like medium settings. These are all mostly mods that I've printed out. Uh, this is a cooler for the motherboard. Um, it's pretty ghetto, but it does do the job. Um, I've upgraded the firmware. Skynet, there's a guy, if you look up Skynet version 2, he's done a firmware upgrade uh, and basically <coughs> that allows you to connect it via USB to your computer and control it via that. Uh, if you don't do that, it runs off an SD card, which is fine, fair enough, and it still prints stuff out from Cura. So the mods I've done on the fan, and um, when you get it out, out of the box, it comes with this um, switch, like uh, that switch there. For the Z, because you've got the X, the Y, and the Z, and the Z switch um, wasn't really very well designed. So first of all, I used this, which worked great, and then I progressed to this. Um, this is an induction switch, and what this does is it means that it can auto level the bed. Because one of the big pain in the ass with these things is you're talking like 0.2 millimeters between the extruder nozzle and the bed here and it's got to be constant and it's done by <coughs> tightening these screws up, thumb screws and you've got to slide a bit of paper under it. If it gets out of whack it's a nightmare so I've put that on and I'll show you what that does. Um, that basically, because this is a metal plate, aluminium plate, it, it compensates for any out of level by taking nine um, settings so I'll just show you do that. So this is the menu on the upgraded firmware. I could do it from the um, from the computer, but I can't remember the G code. So uh, prepare. It's a little bit clunky, but it does the trick. So now it's gonna check itself for level. What it's gonna do is it's gonna. See the switch came on, it's checking that that is correct and then it takes 9 grid. And I have updated the grid, um, made sure it can't shoot past because the default settings were, you know, it could have gone off the edge of the, off the, edge of the plate there. Um, I think it's 200 by 200 mil wide. So let's level the bed. So yeah, the mods I'd recommend for the, for this are either a Z-axis switch like this, where you tighten the screw and the screw cuts the switch off, or the auto bed levelling with the firmware update. And just a note on that, if you do do that, um, <clears throat> and there's a good video on calibration of that, I'll put in the link in the description, don't use the offset on this. Actually have to compile the firmware in Arduino and put the offset in that. And the, 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 the link in the video, uh, you see the guy does a much better job than I would of explaining exactly how to set it all up. But follow these with that exception, and it was fine. Other mods I've made, the power supply is a little bit, um, how you doing? And it didn't have any cooling, so I've just zip tied a, a 12 volt fan to that. Mods to go, I mean, yeah, 240 volts, not great. So I'm going to 3D print a cover for that, which is already on Thingiverse with a switch because there's no switch at the moment, it's just unplug it, plug it in. Uh, I printed out my ball cooler for my board, I've got my little duct tape fan going at the moment. But uh, yeah, for um, 
for the money. Oh, and the other mod, it doesn't come with a, um, a wheel, basically. It's just the bolt goes through and the, 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 the roll lollops along and it pulls. So I've just printed someone else's 3D design of that. Some skateboard bearings in there and that allows it to um, <coughs> feed the filament through. Um, really useful for quadcopters. Uh, I've seen a couple of things on Commodore 64s and older computers you can print silly things like the flaps that hold the keys on um, keyboards all sorts of things so yeah for a hundred and I think it's 150 quid something like that I've been very very impressed with it the parts are cheap but it does the trick very very well okay so I'll do a, a couple more vids so I've been away and I'll, I'll see you all soon cheers bye